Antarctica was not always a land of ice. Millions of years ago, when the continent was still part of a large continental mass in the southern hemisphere called Gondwana, trees flourished near the South Pole. Now, the newly discovered and intricate fossils of some of these trees are revealing how the plants thrived, and what the forests would look like as they move northward into the world that is heating up today. Antarctica retains an ecological history of polar biomes spanning approximately 400 million years, which is basically the entire evolution of the plant. It is difficult to see today the frozen landscape of Antarctica and imagine exuberant forests. To find their fossil specimens, Gulbrandson and his colleagues have to disembark from planes landing in the snow fields, then through glaciers and brave icy winds. But about 400 to 14 million years ago, the southern continent was a very different and much greener place. The climate was warmer. Although the plants that survived in the low latitudes of the south had to face the winters of the darkness of 24 hours per day and the summers during which the sun never set, just like today. Gulbrandson and his team focus on an era centered around 252 million years ago, during the massive extinction of the Permian-Triassic. During this event, the majority of 95% of the species on Earth became extinct. The extinction was probably due to massive emissions of greenhouse gases from volcanoes, which raised the planet's temperatures to extreme levels and caused the oceans to become acidic, the scientists discovered. There are obvious parallels to contemporary climate change, said Gulbrandson, which is less extreme but is similarly driven by greenhouse gases. Before the massive extinction of the end of the Permian, the polar forests of the south were dominated by a type of tree those of the genus Glossopteris, Gulbrandson told Live Science. These were monsters that grew from 65 to 131 feet 20 to 40 meters high, with broad, flat leaves longer than a person's forearm, Gulbrandson said. Before the extinction of the Permian, Glossopteris dominated the landscape below the 35th parallel to the south to the South Pole. The 35th parallel to the south is a circle of latitude that crosses through two land masses. 